Yeah, you are decent. Hey, look, you're looking gorgeous. Oh no! Trouble! Trouble! Oh, no. Trouble! Trouble! Okay, now it's time to chat. We're about to welcome a former Miss Great Britain who shot to fame when she entered the Celebrity Big Brother house earlier this year. Now, since then, she's been pictured with more footballers than Sven Goran Eriksson. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Danielle Lloyd! <laughs> Welcome to our show. Thank you. Last year, you was in that explosive Big Brother racist program. You know, you saw it all. How did you feel about all of that? Because I've never seen you do an interview on it, so here's your chance. Um, I think it was... Um, when I was in the house, I had such a good time. It was obviously my first experience of being yeah. away from home, like away from my family, away from Teddy, and being put in a situation where... I never, I've, uh, which I've never been in before. And I did really, really, really have a good time. Even like the boring times, it was, we'd do something and make it fun. But um, obviously when I came out and with everything what was going on, it was a really, really bad time, really was. Yeah, well, I was going to say, was you surprised if all that media attention, because there was a hell of a lot, <sighs> yeah. but based around like you, Joe and Jade. Yeah, it was, it was really, really terrible. Because I feel that you escaped like from like the others, like Jade and Joe, they've never really been forgiven for it, but you have. You've done a lot of work since then. How do you feel about that and how do you feel about them? That I think that they maybe came out and apologised for things that they probably didn't really do. Yeah. Whereas I felt like I didn't really do anything wrong in the house. I was just probably being a silly... Like all girls can be bitchy, you know. There was some nasty comments said about Shilpa, but I have to ask, are you a racist? No, certainly not. Right, and have you got any black friends? I've got plenty. And what did they say about it all? They've all stood by me and they still oh, stand by good. me now. But did you Sorry. regret going in? No, never. I had, I've met brilliant people in there and I've never... I'd perhaps never do it again, but... You was known for going out with Teddy. Yeah. Why did you split up with him? <clears throat> I think um, just the whole pressure of what went on in the house, and obviously he has a lot. He has people looking after him, and he's got management telling him what to do. When you can't be seen to be involved in anything, and you know I respect his decision to to have to not see me anymore, but. Oh, trouble, trouble, trouble. Let's go quickly because we're on now. Trouble, Danielle. Listen, I've got something for you. Me and my tricks are. Him and his gadgets. Yeah, but there's a reason for it, right? Because since you've been in Big Brother House, you're getting like loads of media attention, right? Yeah. All the cameras are on you. Now, at the moment, you might love it. You might not get sick of it, but oh. there might come a time where you do. So, okay. Oh, I've here got, we go. Just wait. <laughs> I've got these paparazzi sunglasses. Can I just explain what they are, right? You know when you get magazines and you get this sensor, you get this sensor put across the face yeah. if you don't want to be recognised, right? Okay. So look at these. Look <laughs> at these. They're very cool. These, I think Do you know, I wonder about the people that send them. these things in, honestly. <laughs> this is like, you can wear these, right? <laughs> you can come stumbling out of a club. No one's going to know who it is to start with. And then if they do, they're not going to know if you're drunk, if you're not. Because your eyes can't tell anything. <laughs> Do you want to try them on? Try them on, honestly. Okay, cool. Aren't they I'm sure awesome? they'd recognise you. And you know what? You can even have them if you want. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you can see how they cool, actually. Now, you had actually done a lot of beauty pageants, and then you done yeah. Miss Britain. Yeah. And then you lost it, and now you've got it again. What happened there? No, they, ha they haven't actually given me it back. But didn't I, you um, win? You had a court case for it or something? Yeah, I had a court case, and then um, we've... I can't really talk about no, it. No, that's fine. Talk about what you can um, talk about. But it's just, we've settled, settled now. And but have you got your title back? I haven't actually got it back, but they've admitted that I'm not a cheat. Well, I think you should give her a title back. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and also, you, put, you posed for the English Playboy. 
Um, American Playboy. Oh, it's American. American. Yeah, American. So how much Playboy. did you get paid for that? I want to see if you got the same as me. <laughs> <laughs> um, it was fifty thousand dollars, I think. That's good. Did you get a necklace as well with the rabbit yeah, on it? Yeah. Because who normally gives you like a necklace? Yeah, they send me loads. I of gave stuff you a all rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it didn't have diamonds in it like No, that. I've got two of them. One's but that doesn't one's make you look good, really does it, Pete, if you're giving me a rabbit, let's be honest. <laughs> no, 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 no. Now, obviously, back to the modelling. Because you don't do topless, will you ever do topless? I know you did it for um, Playboy, because when you... Um, <laughs> you with the beauty man. pageants in, like, um, Miss Great Britain, they don't like you to do anything like that, yeah. which is why I'm surprised you've done Playboy. Yeah. But will you ever get them out for the lads? Maybe. Depends how much do you want to see them. <laughs> so, Danielle, right, you love to keep fit. Yeah. But wouldn't it be, like, awesome if you could just kind of lose all the toxins from your body and get fit and trim without having to go to the gym? Because that's what I want to do. Definitely. Right. So, <laughs> so that we had this in the house. Just wait. I'm going to explain to you. Danielle, please stand up because this is really exciting for me. <laughs> like, really exciting. This is a solo <laughs> sauna, right? You're quite tall, actually. Right, this is a solo sauna, and what this thing does, let me just explain it to you. You can lie down, listen to your iPod, listen to anything you want. Right, I know it sounds weird, but just wait, <laughs> and you can lie in this, right? And this will get rid of all the toxins in your body, okay. and you can just chill. And you can listen to whatever you want. Isn't it interesting? <laughs> and you don't have to do anything. And you, have to put, you have to put your arms in as well, and you can do what you want. Right, so let me just explain it. Hold on, one second. God, man, this is exercise just getting in and out. Danielle, so now please yeah. try it for me. Okay. <laughs> you reckon, why am I getting her to try it? Uh-huh. <laughs> right. You can make it hotter or colder. I don't actually know where the controls are, but I'll don't give you a manual if you hot. want one. <laughs> can I do this? Put your arms in. Yeah. Right. Enjoy the show. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Danielle Lloyd. Okay, this is good.